Hey, what's up guys forever here and this video is actually requested by a commenter in another video asking if I can explain how these settings work in Film Liberty to make it easier for controller users on console because honestly the controls are a bit confusing in the beginning of um, getting into the game and so I'm going to make one thing super easy for you. What's going to happen is once you press the option button or your start button whichever console you're on um, you're going to hold down the left stick in your L3 and for after one second it's going to enter this virtual cursor mode confirm it and you're going to get a cursor that's going to let you fly through your um, menus a lot easier than you would by pressing the d-pad up and down over and over and over to get rid of this cursor you'll hold down l3 again or just close the menu and it'll go away until the next time you open it up and you want to turn it back on now into the settings when it comes to this we're going to go ahead and fly through these pretty quickly next target lock on is if you're attacking a target and there's another target nearby after that target dies it'll automatically lock onto that target so I'm gonna kill this wasp and automatically locks onto the next target that's pretty simple to be honest um select friendly targets with crosshairs this is mostly only beneficial to healers there is a useful it is useful if you're using salvation chain as a staff user but because I don't use Salvation Chain, I don't have it um, attached on. And because I don't have any use friendly users around me right now, I won't be able to use it to show you guys how it actually works. But it does make the reticle a blue um, shade, and it shows that you're targeting a friendly, and you'll just be able to use it on a friendly. Change attack targets when using skills. Generally, when you auto attack, nothing here is strong enough to survive my auto attack. But generally, when you auto attack, you're going to be auto attacking the same thing. But if, you auto, if you're auto attacking the same thing and you turn your camera, You'll be facing something else, and that way, if you use a skill, you'll automatically turn the target to something like this wasp. So if I'm facing this way, and I turn my target while I'm auto-attacking, it'll take, like, maybe a few seconds for it to change the, whatever your attack speed is. It's going to take that, that time for the auto-attack to change to that target. However, if you just turn your camera and use your skill with that tar with that setting on, you'll use your skill, it'll automatically target the wasp. That's how that setting works. Um, that's pretty self-explanatory to me. Uh, but some people find that confusing quick turnaround quick turnaround is really easy um if you haven't realized it yet that's actually answered on your controller menu um when you look down here right under your left stick where it says move down at the bottom says um quick turnaround if you tap your left stick twice so if i'm facing this way and i double tap bam it quick turns around easy right that's to help you when people or bosses just decide to teleport behind you. Mostly bosses, because bosses decide to teleport behind you all the time. Rotate camera to face direction. This happens whenever you're running in and there's no targets around you. Um, say I'm running in this direction, no target around me, my camera's facing that way. If you hit the right stick, it'll reset the camera to be in front of you. But because I'm running, what's going to happen is it's going to drag the camera to where I'm facing. And because I'm holding, like, say I'm holding right on the stick right now to run in this direction because I'm turning, it's gonna keep trying to drag the camera. Now, if I set it on something like auto run, and then I turn the, well, not even can't do that because the camera turns when you auto run. So yeah, that, that's pretty much how that works. I can't explain it any better than that. Um, it just drags your camera to face the direction that you're in when you're running. I'm gonna turn that back off because I don't like using that to be honest. Auto move to interaction. Um, if you're talking to an NPC or if you wanna face an NPC that's further away, say this NPC right here. If I press square, it's going to drive me towards that NPC. Pretty much self-explanatory on that one. Uh, next one is prevent falling. Um, this is any when you're anywhere near an, anything that's an edge, and I mean an actual edge, not something that's like the fences over here. But if you're on an actual platform that has an edge, if you walk towards the edge, it won't let you fall out. That's useful when you have to platform. It's useful for when you have to um, do anything towards climbing to get like books or anything. It, it's very useful in those situations. Uh, the next one is going to be oh so this is the attacking one queuing skills queuing skills is pretty much what it says if your skill is not able to be used because it's on a cooldown or insufficient mana it's going to be queued up to be used when it's possible to use it um it's going to go in order depending on whatever skills you use first skills first second skill second um auto moves to attack within range same as the npc thing if there's a target that's out of range and i'm targeting it like the scarab if I press to use my fire on uh, my fireball on it, it's gonna drag me to the range of using fireball, and then it's gonna automatically use fireball or well cast fireball. 
because it's still going to take time to cast it. And this one's going to die because of the burn damage. Uh, the next one's going to be, let's see, uh, auto move within range of beneficial skills. Once again, not a healer, and I'm not using Salvation Chain. Doesn't really affect me. Auto use non-targeted beneficial skills on self. Not a healer, generally for healers. Um, and Salvation Chain doesn't work with this, so I wouldn't know. Better use beneficial skills. Use beneficial skills to target on self when if target's out of range. Healers, if your target's out of range, it's just going to heal you. That's as simple as I can get it to put. Toggle charge skills. This one's pretty easy to um, figure out. Because charge skills don't have to be held normally, with that with that option off, you wouldn't um, hold to charge to to charge charge skills. With the option on, you have to hold the button down to charge your charge skill. And that's one example right there. If I that's me holding down the button. Now this is me just tapping the button to get the skill to go off. Wait, it moved out of the it moved out of the um the range radius or whatever. So yeah. If I tap it, it's just gonna go until it gets to the point where the skill is supposed to launch, and then it'll launch itself. Now if I hold the button down, which I have to wait for the cooldown to come up. It's going to launch the skill whenever the cooldown is done. And when, whenever the cast time is done. So it's going to go all the way up now and fire off. Generally, I play with that off because um, it's not something I want to hold. I don't want to have to hold down the button the entire time while I'm uh, while I'm fighting. Because I can press another button in the same meantime, you know. Or I can go ahead and press my, uh, my block skill because I have to block a lot. Uh, toggle aim skills toggling aim skills is pretty much the same thing um, So aim skills are skills like this uh, Ice shard With toggle aim skills on ice shard is going to automatically fire now if I turn that off Sorry maintenance is gonna happen soon. I'm trying to get this video done before maintenance uh, Let's see Okay so we have to wait for the cooldown for the ice shard as well. And so now I'm going to use ice shard and you see it's going to go ahead and I'm not going to fire as soon as I press it, right? All right. That's how that works. Now that's also working in tandem with the next setting that I always have on because this setting is just perfect, to be honest. Uh, aim skills lock on tar current target. This makes it to where you don't have to aim. Um, so with that with that setting off, what's going to happen is you're going to have to aim your aim skills, your AOEs, anything that has a a set location you have to place it. You're going to have to aim that yourself. So when I use this, I'm going to have to aim it. It doesn't snap onto anything, but with that setting on, it snaps onto whatever the thing is that I'm targeting, or whatever the thing is my cursor is um my crosshair is facing. So. Put that on, blah, blah, blah. Well, wrong button. See? Automatically targets. Now, the next setting, I don't think it actually works fully the way it should with it on. So, I'm going to try this right now because it's kind of confusing. But this makes it to where wherever you're targeting or wherever your camera is facing, whatever that, that skill is on, it's supposed to move to that skill. So, like, me using the... Wrong skill again. <laughs> Me using ice shard. If I move my camera, it's not gonna move with it. Now, if I turn this off, I don't think these work in tandem like they probably should. Um, or actually, I don't think they should work in tandem to be honest. Because how this works is like this: I use ice shard. It's targeting nothing, but if I move to target something, it's gonna target whatever's there. But as long as there's no enemy in the area, it won't target anything. So that's how that works, and that's why it doesn't work well with the previous option, because that art that previous option automatically makes you target whatever is in your area, or rather, what's within your crosshair range. So those two won't work together at all, ever. Um, so generally, I play with this off, play with this on, um, and then that's it really for the options that um. <laughs> that will get you through pretty much most of the game um toggle aim skills i'll keep on because that's how i play uh 
other than that, going around the menus of your, well, the, the, the UI of the game is pretty simple. Holding triangle access is your control mode that lets you go ahead and go through your content notifications that lets you access where your quests are, um, your, where your story mode quests are, your codex quests are, your contracts, and your guild contracts. And this is just the main screen where all of your stuff is at. Um, if you press X while in that, it'll take you to whatever section of that um, menu that you're supposed to be in. So if I go into the story mode or the adventure um, favorites, well, I don't have any adventures anymore, so it won't take me there. As long as I have something in there, it'll take me there, but I don't have anything there, so it's not going to take me there. But you can press square and it will take you into that into that um, that open version of the content notifications. And you can go ahead and set things to favorite and such by entering that section and then pressing square setting it to favorite opens it into whatever mode it's supposed to be in so because i'm in the codex mode and i just turned on orcs language it'll let me go ahead and go over to orcs language bam there it is so if i press x it's going to open up the full menu and that just pretty much settles, settles how that is i can go ahead and turn off the the favorite mode and it's not going to be there anymore um other than that uh that's generally it for this video to be honest oh the astro mode because i'm not in pvp right now or anywhere near pvp zone the astro mode won't really do what i need it to do to show you the full capabilities but generally what it's going to do is going to show you everything that's a hostile enemy um and mark it and it'll separate hostile enemies from players as well so where you can actually turn it off from having um having the target wait having to target having to target I can't there we go okay whoops from having to target monsters to having to target players so if you're in a field like you're doing a um a expedition or not an expedition a field event if you're doing a field event and say you're in a mix of a hostile field event where there are players and monsters you can have it to where you are only fighting players and have players marked differently than monsters because sometimes there's a lot of players on the field and there's a lot of monsters on the field and you want to have that distinction known so you can actually do what you need to do when it comes to um to combat and turning off astro mode but yeah that's pretty much it when it comes to this video on how to use your settings for your gameplay on console or with controller for throne of liberty hopefully this video helps you out and the maintenance mode just happened so we just got kicked off thank you guys for watching i'll catch you guys in the next video it's been forever and peace out <laughs>